So this is a zippo with a pitain insert. And if you buy one, you'll find it has a lot of little problems, especially the single flame version. There's a few videos that tells you how to fix it, and actually, I don't think any of them is correct or accurate. I guess I'll start with just, is this good? Eh, you know, it works, it's not super great. It has a lot of fit problems compared to the original, for example, it's, it's a little bit wobbly. Things you don't get with uh, the regular inserts. Part of the reason for this is they're not made at the same factory. Uh, these are made in China. The original is made in the US, except there is no butan insert made in the US. So, let's take this apart. And see, the fit is different, like it doesn't really slide out really easily. All right, so that's the insert you get for like 15 bucks. And chances are, even out of the box, it's not gonna work. So you'll see most videos show you the backside, and they'll tell you to remove the plate here, so you can change the address screw here, and go further, uh, so that you get a bigger flame, for example. All this does is, it gets more gas out uh, when you push the button, pretty simple. That means it'll last, last long, but also, um, it's a little bit wasteful and it shouldn't be necessary as soon as gas gets out it should lit it doesn't matter if it's a little bit of gas or a lot of gas all it changes is how much gas is let out how much pressure you get more pressure bigger flame as long as you have at least a little bit of pressure gas leads very easily it's extremely flammable um same thing for like using special gas you know use the zipper one it just works you can get better cleaner gas, it will work a little bit better, but all it does is hiding the problems and you shouldn't need to actually buy that. So, the problems. <laughs> There's two problems. One is the spark. Uh, you can see here, there is this little wire. This little wire, when you push the button, will create a spark between the wire and the side. Of, I guess you could call it the shroud. If it's not in wads enough, the spark will be created in the back or really on the side here. And it may not be in the way of the gas. And effectively, it will not light easily when that's the case. And you can really see it by just clicking it yourself. Um, this one is well set, so it lights up. But if you just keep clicking it, you will see the spark visually. And if nothing happens, Chances are it's not in the right position, or if you see the spark being in the back, it's probably also in the wrong position. So what you can do is get a small pick like this, something not too sharp if possible. And all you do is you pick it and you bend it a little bit downwards. You see how it's slightly horizontal and downwards towards where the gas will come out. And just keep pushing it and then test it. See where the spark is and when the spark starts to be in the front, you're good. If it still doesn't light after this, it's probably because there's air in the lighter. Oh, this is not specific to this. Any button lighter has the same problem. And what happens is if uh, you had a little window to see the gas here, the gas is liquid, and the air will be at the top. Um, in this case, the air will be here where the exhaust here is. If you hold the zippo upside properly, <laughs> so the air will be at the top here, and when you push the button, the air will be pushed out first. But what it fixes is to have two exhausts at the top so that it equalizes the pressure, and the gas will push the air out. This is single exhaust, so that doesn't work. Um, this is a similar problem on big lighters if you refuel them manually, by the way. So, what it fixes. Very simple. Just put it upside down like this. You get a little bit of air out, and you can do this with a screwdriver or whatnot. By just pushing in the back on that, you'll see on other videos as well. You don't have to get all the air and gas out. Just get a little bit out, 
like this. Actually, that's a bit of air right now that's coming out. There is no gas. And take your button, open it. Don't need to shake it. Keep it upside down. Just give it a bit of gas for like a few seconds, like three or four seconds. It doesn't have to be long, doesn't have to be six seconds or whatever, it doesn't matter. Take the screwdriver, let the air out again. And when you do this, what happens is you're getting the air out and you're replacing it by liquid gas. Do this a few times. Probably need to do it like five or six times. Um, if you have air, if you have air in the the butane insert, and you probably do if you just put it, and you know that there's no longer any air when you push it, and you see a little bit of um, compressed gas coming out, or you can even feel it on your fingers. It's not just air, but it's actually just wet gas. Right now you can see it, right? So that means I got rid of the air bubbles. Um, the reason it does this is also because the gas right now is very cold. So the zippo is super full. Um, if you keep doing this, you'll have this problem where the liquid gas will actually just pour out. It's because it's extremely full, no air left. So the zippo is now, now completely full. Um, so, with that said, there's one last problem. So now we fixed the little igniter here. We fixed the air bubble, there is zero air bubble. Um, there was a little bit before, now it's completely full of gas, as full as it can get. The last piece is when you do this, uh, because of the air pressure or the gas pressure, the liquid will be very cold inside. And because there's this metal housing, uh, you can't heat it up really easily. So you can keep it in your hand like this for maybe a minute, uh, just to make sure it's not too cold inside, especially if you just refill the single tail, because it's gonna be pretty cold, you're gonna even feel it on your finger. This one was almost full, with just a little air bubble, so it should be pretty good right now. But of course, finally, you wanna test it, just click it and see if it lights up easily like this. Oh, a good test to see if everything worked correctly is when you light it, keep it lit up and see if the flame is keeping straight, static, uh, correct size. You know, you want like maybe this high. Whatever works for you really, you can always adjust it if you want it a little bit bigger. If it does something like where the flame is not stable, that means there's still air bubbles in it. That said, uh, You've seen what I've done in the bag, there should be zero air bubble at that point. But if you have this, well, you know, just turn it around, let the air out again, refill it, let the air out again, refill it, do that like maybe three times, test again, and the flame should be completely stable. And it should turn on the flame every single time. If it's failing every other time or whatnot, something's wrong. This should, flame, this should make a flame every single time. And then you're done, just back on. And now you have an actually usable Zippo with pretty poor fit, <laughs> but it will work. And it will be reliable, just like a fighter. Hope that helps.